All right, so about a year and a half, two years ago, I put out a video for Civic U Falls. Since that video was made, some of the regulations have changed and I wanted to put together a new video. And unfortunately, you can't edit videos once you post them to give you the right information about that area. So that being said, let's get started. So in order to go to Civic U, you need a permit from the White Mountain Apache tribe. I'll put up the website that you can go to to get information. Now that is one of the big changes from the previous video. The website didn't used to have permits available. Now you can actually buy them on the website. Really convenient. I've heard that there is a kiosk at the trailhead that you can buy permits from, but when I was there, I never saw it. So better safe than sorry, buy the permit online, get it that way, get it ahead of time. I will say that when you do go to the website, you have to register an account and that takes a little while. So do it ahead of time. When I did it, they send a verification email and actually went to my junk email. So if you're waiting for that verification email, you don't have it, check your junk email. It's probably where it is. The permits themselves, $30 per person per day covers Civic Q Falls or Pachita Falls. They're pretty far apart. So trying to do them both in, in a single day isn't really realistic, but uh, same permit, it does say Civic Q on the website, it doesn't say Pachita, caused me some confusion last time I was trying to go to Pachita, but now you know that. But when I was there and got it for Pachita Falls, they told me that it covered both the falls access and camping for the night. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing, and unfortunately, I can't clarify this for you. I got my permit that I had for Pachita, looked at it, in detail it doesn't say anything about camping i had a separate camping permit that i'd gotten that's a whole other video on a long story the best advice that i can give you to clarify if camping is included with your falls permit is to call the number on the website and just ask them directly because you definitely i mean you don't you want to follow the rules and unfortunately they're not the most clear in the world these permits are enforced. When we were camping in the White Mountains out in the middle of nowhere, rangers came by and did check for our permits. So you do want the permit if you go there. You don't want to get a fine. You don't want to get in trouble. So like I said, I was told that it includes camping, but I highly recommend that you call to verify. So enough of the red tape. Once you're planning your trip, you want to head north out of Globe, Arizona. Take the Arizona 6067, go about 20 miles. And you'll hit a bunch of switchbacks as you drop into the Salt River Valley. You cross the salt and immediately after the bridge at the Salt River, you want to look for a gravel parking area to your left. Turn left here, follow the gravel road along the Salt River. It's about four miles. Pretty well maintained when I was there. There were some rocks that had fallen from the uh, adjacent cliff, but you just drive around them. A little narrow in spots, but any passenger vehicle is gonna make it down this road. That is, it'll make it right to the very end to the creek crossing. Uh, I've seen videos of people crossing this creek in just regular sedans. I would not recommend it. I have a lifted four wheel drive. I, I don't think you need the lift unless the water levels are really high, but the four wheel drive was really nice to have. I wouldn't want to go across it in, in a Civic or something like that. That's another change from the previous video. When I was there before, there was a parking area right before the creek crossing. You could park there, but I've heard that if you park there now, you get ticketed and possibly towed. So assume that you have to park in the parking area and therefore you have to have a vehicle that's gonna get across the stream crossing. So once you're there, park your car, get out and start walking up Civic U Creek. Now, right before you get there, there's a sign and it displays the rules. I looked on the website and they do reiterate no camping in the canyon and no swimming. Now, the swimming is a very controversial and actually confusing rule. See lots of times people have pictures at the falls, they're in the water, and then the argument ensues online, how it always seems to do that, why can't I swim? Other people were swimming. Now, here's the thing. The land belongs to the White Mountain Apache tribe. They are allowing non-tribal members to go. They can revoke that right anytime they want. And actually this past year, uh, I don't know the exact specifics, but they blocked all access. So that cool Instagram photo or whatever you're trying to get by breaking the rules and whatever justification you have, um, be respectful. It, it, you know, you wouldn't invite somebody into your house if, if they always peed in your pool. You'd say, I'm not, not letting that guy come over anymore. He's not allowed over. So 
Don't ruin it for yourself. Don't ruin it for others. Be respectful and follow the rules. They say no swimming, don't swim. So anyway, uh, enough preaching. The trail itself is about a mile and a half each way out and back. There's no real elevation gain to it. You do cross the stream several times. There's no keeping your feet dry. So wear the appropriate shoes for that. There's a little bit of light boulder hopping, some slick spots where you're crossing the stream, but otherwise it's very straightforward. Uh, next thing you know, the canyon starts to box up a little bit more and you come around the corner, there's the falls. Hang out, enjoy the area, spend as much time as you want. And when you're finished and ready to go, turn around and go back out the way you came. Now I did say earlier in the video, the camping regulations and rules are a little bit foggy. However, there are campsites on the way there. We were able to camp there when we went. They have shade structures, bathrooms. They're right up against the Salt River. Although I think access and use of the salt is a separate permit. We went on the off season, we were able to find firewood there, but I would recommend bringing your own. And, and again, call to clarify to make sure that these campsites are still available and included with your permit, if that's what your plans are. Anyway, that's Civic U Falls. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. And if you haven't checked it out, start planning it.